A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to create various chart types something like a bar chart, area chart, column chart, spline chart, pie chart etc. Right now what you see in front of you is a basic column chart using canvas.js. What is canvas.js? Let's look at the website. It's an HTML5 JavaScript charting library with a simple API. The documentation, the examples, everything is given at canvas.js.com. Uh, how to include charts in your HTML documents a full example is given out here and this is the example that I'm showing you through codepen.io which is an online editor so it has three panels HTML CSS JS whatever is written inside HTML panel goes inside opening closing body tags in reality in your 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 html5 editor whatever in, is inside hcss goes inside opening closing style tags or an external style sheet and whatever is inside js panel goes inside opening closing script tags now you need the you need to tie up with the javascript charting library and i've done that through if i click on the gear symbol you can see that i'm tied up with uh, canvasjs.com forward slash assets forward slash script forward slash canvasjs.min.js it's a library okay it's a library and in reality on your html5 page you'll need to tie up like so i'm going to show you just give me a minute through the script and src like so okay now so this is a basic column chart right now guys notice that it says trial version and canvasjs.com on either side of the page and you can also see that as I hover I get uh, these tooltips very nice looking tooltips but this trial version message can actually be removed if you buy um, chartjs.com the charting solution the JavaScript uh, the HTML5 JavaScript library Okay. If you don't, then you will see this uh, small alert trial version on the left hand side canvasjs.com on the right hand side. So let's see how this was actually done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring in the code slowly. I'm going to break the code and that will give you a great idea how this was done. But I'm going to quickly show you how I can change the uh, let's say the chart types. Let's get on with the bar chart. This is the bar chart coming up or let's say the pie chart this is the pie chart okay I can even convert it into a spline chart or area chart etc let's go back to the column chart I can even change the theme from theme 1 to theme 2 and this is how uh, theme 2 is this is how theme 1 is okay and uh, as I said let me bring in the code slowly so you'll get a much better idea okay so I've emptied the JS uh, panel the CSS panel uh, originally had nothing and we only have a div uh, with an ID of chart container height 300 with 100 percent so and uh, remember guys this is a responsive all these charts are responsive I'm gonna show you in the end let me bring in the code slowly so I'm saying when the the browser window loads fire a function and creating a new instance of the canvas JS chart and this is the syntax and we'll be working on the division with an ID of chart container next I have to choose between theme 1 or theme 2 let's go with theme 1 so these are the various arguments the next argument is basically the title property and the value is basic column chart canvas JS now this title can change next the next uh, argument is animation enabled can be set to either true or false okay I'll show you an example of that in the end and then the data the most important data so uh, we have various labels apple orange banana mango grapes and their values the y's are 10 15 25 30 28 okay now in the end you need to render the chart the, the through the render method and the charts are actually seen out here these are responsive guys see I'm gonna show that to you it's responsive and I'm gonna show you this animation can be set to true see that 
again let me change it to spline chart for example right so guys i hope you found this information useful you have a very good day bye bye peace